Hello YouTubers, this is Final Master Link here, and I'm gonna continue with this Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix walkthrough, so I guess I'll let you watch the rest of this cutscene. <clears throat> Now, um, what's playing right now is, um, one of the special cutscenes for, uh, the Final Mix exclusive content, it, but there's a couple problems with that. One, it's in Japanese, so you won't be able to read it, and two, because of the poor quality of the video, you probably can't see, uh, too good a detail of it. So, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to just, um, skip it, and then I'm going to put in a second video from off of a website that's going to be translated into English for any Kingdom Hearts fans to watch, and I'm going to do that for all those special cutscenes that are nice, just because I'm so generous, so you're welcome for that. And I'm going to try to skip most of these cutscenes too, because... Well, if you notice, they take up a lot of time. If you put them all together, it could be like hours of cutscenes. See, for this battle, you just have to fight some of Pete's minions. That was pretty quick. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So mighty. Okay, now you're in Yed Sid's tower. Get a couple of these chests. See, there, there. I got a synthesis item in. Uh, I think it's it's an ether or, or an elixir. Well, whatever. I guess I'll save right now. See, I'm level seven. I guess I'm just gonna go up to Yitzin's tower. I think I'll just ignore those enemies right there. Besides, they're only worth one experience each. Now this I'm going to have to be required to destroy these enemies. I think of these like... I think of these enemies more like warm up for... Trying to get used to Sora, how he fights. I mean... I think he's definitely faster when it comes to swinging his keyblade. He's definitely more flexible. See, and the door is unlocked, so now I can go through it. Just gonna skip these enemies still. Okay, 
And right there, what you have, what I'm targeting at, that's a, um, that's a different colored Heartless from the original Kingdom Hearts 2. Instead of it being blue, it's like yellow, so. Ooh, that was a sweet reaction command I did on it. So you go into the final staircase. I might actually kill those things right there. Since I think they're worth like five or seven. I have some money too, which I could use for later. And um I'm just at the top of the tower, you can open this big chest chest right here it has a map it's kind of nice now I got a well in the original Kingdom Hearts 2 you can read this um, book but it's all it's all Japanese so you shouldn't really bother you go to the second option when you talk to him wait, wait a sec. And there are these three fairies that will give you um, new clothes, which look pretty cool compared to the old Kingdom Hearts. So just talk to the red fairy, I think. Go to the second option. Well, look who's here, dear. You also get a new Keyblade. I think it's called a Star Seeker. Something like that. And you get your Valor one. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, Sora looks pretty sharp right now, doesn't he? Square Enix did a good job on these um, model characters too. Definitely looks grown up. Looks like he's a little wiser. A little more mature maybe. Well, maybe not in that department. But, just go ahead and try to exit. But there is, suddenly, there's something that falls out of Sora's pocket. It's like a little, uh... It's like a little crown symbol thing. And the fairies tell you that they're basically all over the place. Which is another, um, secret about the Final Mix exclusive. And you can collect these things and, um... Well, pretty much they're like puzzle pieces. And I'll, I'll tell you more about those later. Each one you collect is a piece of a puzzle that you can put together to win like an item or something. Okay, 